Hi, Anna. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Wow, I'm so excited to see you today. Thank you, Aliona, for recording this session. Um, and uh, hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. Can you hear me well? Can you see me well? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yes. Okay, hello, Nagaza. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, so during the session, please turn off your mic, turn off your microphones, and uh, just uh, you may even turn off your videos. So that's how we can save some energy for that internet connection. Um, yeah, come on. Yeah, you, we can just start straight away because I don't want to take more than um, an hour of your town, uh, time or maybe even um, less. Yeah, I hope so. Anyway, first of all, I'd like to ask you a question. Have you ever heard about Wakelet? Have you ever used it? Janet, hi, I'm so, hola. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you. Um, so have you ever used this kind of um, program platform? Because Wakelet is an amazing platform to use. Have you ever heard, uh, had this kind of experience? Yeah. Yes, that's awesome. Um, so I, I hope that today you're going to know more options how to use Wakelet because there were like a few integrations, uh, great ones that um, are pretty new to Wakelet. And of course, you've heard about integration with Flipgrid. Wow. Hello. Yes. Hello. Where, okay. Hi. Yeah, now you can see me. If you lose me on any point, please let me know or just uh, give me a message, text me, okay? That we can't see you, we can't hear you, okay? At any okay. step when you lose me, because <laughs> I may, I, I don't know what can happen. It's internet connection. I can't be uh, like sure about it 100%. Okay, uh, let me start demonstrating the screen. One sec. So, can you see yourself? Great. So, please turn off your mics, turn off the videos, so we can save some more energy, okay? Yeah. Um, well, so let's go strictly to the presentation. First, we go to the, to the theory, and then we're going to practice. From theory to practice. Okay, first of all, let me start with a quick presentation of what is it, what it is, how actually to use Wakelet, and uh, what kind of uh, features you should know about this program. Okay, just a sec. We need to need that. Just uh, okay. What is it, Wakelet? First of all, <clears throat> um, this is a free platform that allows you to save, organize, and share content from across the web. You can save any link, any um, any kind of feature, for example, uh, any kind of link to the article, to the document. You can save it from your computer. Actually, the variation is huge. And also, um, so we call it bookmarks. I'm going to show you. So uh, we can understand Wakelet just in four easy steps. Uh, please tell me if you can't hear me or you can't see me, just it's very essential for me. So actually these four steps are bookmarks, uh, it's about organization, it's about collaboration, it's about sharing, easy four steps. Also like organization, I can also call it curation because you can curate the whole project that you can create with your students, it's awesome. Uh, what about bookmarks? As I told you, I never lose a link again. You know, my panel is such a mess because we teachers, we've got lots of projects, lots of uh, variations and ideas for the lesson. So my panel is overfilled with different bookmarks. Actually, Wakelet can uh, help you to solve this kind of problems because every time when I have a session with another educator, uh, around the globe, he or she tells me, Anna, your panel is a mess when I'm sharing with my screen. Actually, uh, Wakelet helped me a lot to save this space and to organize it. It's not only about the educational process. Okay, guys, please turn off your mics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so if anybody can turn it off instead of me, uh, you are really just the door. Please make it happen. Uh, never lose a link again. It's very essential for us. Sometimes I just refresh my uh, searching engine and uh, that's how I can lose something interesting. Guys, please turn off the mics. 
okay? Somebody, can you turn it off? Uh, so you can save uh, the content um, that matters from across the web. It could be like YouTube link to tweet. You can, it was integration with Twitter. Actually, it's very easy to make it just through Wakelet. Uh, I will show you how. Uh, you can use, uh, you can save Instagram bookmark and uh, everything that you see, you can save it and make uh, this kind of collection. Even to Gears, you know, Google from Google Drive, from OneDrive, from Amazon, from everywhere. And it is all uh, that we call, that's all we call bookmark. That's easy to understand. It's about organization. You can organize your bookmarks into stunning collection, amazing. And it, it will be neat, neat and nothing will be like a mess. You can create collections on any subject. We order your content, however you like it. You can customize it and add text images and PDFs to give context and narrative to your bookmarks. I think it's awesome, don't you think so? Um, so it's about collaboration. So you can not only uh, make it in private way, you can collaborate with people and work only of, uh, with them, or you can make your collection public so the whole world can see it. Uh, you can invite other people to collaborate in your collections. You can invite people using their Wakelet username or email address, or use their shareable link or code to allow people to contribute without without signing up it's awesome because our students sometimes they're so lazy or they simply don't know how to uh, create an account or oh, they're so lazy uh, honestly uh, yeah so they don't need to be signed up to wakelet they just you can share with the link or with the qr code or with the code uh i'm going to show uh, actually our guest will show you and tell you more about collaboration but it's awesome i really like it it's about sharing, of course. When you finish your collection, you can choose to keep it private or share it with the world. Make it public or share it with your friends, colleagues and students via email, on social media or on Google Play. OK, wherever you want to. Microsoft Teams, OK, everything works for this. Best, yeah, so you, you can just share it everywhere where you need it. It's awesome. So copy uh, embed and much more. Notify you can you, when you save the tweet uh, from the Twitter, yeah, or for some kind of from someone's profile, you can notify users when you add their tweets to your collection. I think it's great. It's so sweet, by the way. Export your collection as a PDF. That's awesome. I like it. it. Really, it's honestly very practical. Allow other users to copy your collection and build on it. So you, you can easily copy the collection if it's uh, enable, yeah? And after that, you can uh, edit it or your colleague can. And that's great. You don't need to make it like, like to start from the very beginning. You can embed your collection onto your website or blog and you can customize it more. That's great. That's awesome. How you can use Wakelet once again. So you can you can save bookmarks. Every saved feature will be in your bookmark area. I will show you in the practical part. You can organize it. It's about like research, create research hubs, portfolios, classroom newsletters, digital assignments, blogging. Oh my God, this uh, this amazing list of a classroom website, whatever you need to. Project-based learning, It's that's what we need. That's what is uh, like 21st century. Uh, collaborate, classroom playlists, group, you know, there's a great variation. So uh, collect images, uh, global class collaboration, school newsletter, and share learning, development, research. Everything is about Wakelet. So step up your Wakelet game. That's so amazing. Actually, you can see that you can download it on App Store. You can get it on Google Play, uh, Chrome Web Store. Get the ad. Wow, that's a great variation. So it's pretty easy to have it on your mobile phone, on your cell phone, whatever, on your computer, iPad. It's it's amazing. So this is a very useful uh, link that you can follow on Twitter. And also there is a support .com if you want to um, uh, like to have like this contact help and uh, whatever. Resources for educators, uh, this QR code and the link will help you and to, for to get more resources for educators. That's a great thing. Uh, so if you need it, you can just use it. Mm -hmm. So, well, the next step that we are going to take is let's go to um, to talk about how you can um, 
-hmm. sign up. Yeah, it's absolutely for free. First of all, I suggest you to create a very um, reusable collection, as I always like to uh, to make one. It's a uh, wakelet session. Here we are going to collect lots of usable links from this session, from the um, uh, sites, and uh, we are going to collect the bookmarks that will help you to um, dive into deeper. Yeah, this kind of wakelet uh, using. Um, OK, there is a great um, thing like this site, uh, wakelet.com. I will uh, add this bookmark as a link to our collection. Uh, here we are going, you can find everything that you need, how you can use Wakelet again, how educators are using Wakelet, newsletters, for you, you know, you can just uh, watch it like carefully after that. The educator's guide to Wakelet. You can select a language. There is a great variation of languages and I have translated one into Russian because this guy suggested me and that's how I'm so um, like I'm shining, shouting out about them because I got a little bit closer to Wakelet and I really enjoy using it. I started using it before the translation part, but now I like it more and more. Their integrations, there are lots of good news and welcoming community. So anyway, um, let's start. Let's go. Uh, I, w I want to show you how you can um, easily uh, register there. You need to go to wakelet.com. Uh, wakelet uh, dot com not Anna you see it remembers me <laughs> um, and um, what you need to register here is just to uh, sign up it's absolutely for free you can sign up with Google, yes, so with Microsoft, with Facebook, uh, sign up with email. So you decide uh, how you, what is best for you. Yeah, you decide. Actually, I've got my own um, account there and what I need to do is just go strictly to Wakelet. As I said, it's absolutely for free. Now you can see my uh, collections. Uh, so far, so good. I've got what is recollections. That's how it looks like. Uh, we can go to my this uh, what we call public profile. So I just want to check the connection. Can you see? Yeah, you can see me. That's awesome. Uh, you can go to your public profile. We call it like this. It's your homepage. You can go there anytime where you, when you need it. And uh, also, you uh, let just have a look. This is my um, nickname. So you can change it anytime that you need. And you can change. I've changed it to my Twitter. Um, you know, to my Twitter one. So it's pretty easy for me uh, to know. This is uh, as I said public account. So I've got only two public collections. Yep. The rest of the collections are not public ones. So and let's go and have a look. Um, what we've got over here, uh, as you see, it's very bright. It's very easy to sort it by like created, updated and from A to Z. What is good for you? So you decide. Uh, the next one, what you can do, you can see the signs. Can you see this lot? That it's mean that it's not private one. We can change the visibility anytime that you need. Just press on this icon. I can make it unlisted, private, or public. What what it means? If it's private, only I can see the collection. If it's unlisted, only people with the link can see the collection. And if it's public, everyone can see the collection. Let's try it on. OK, I want to make it public and uh, can you see it? We are going to my public account if you press on this icon and there it must be appear. It should be there anytime we just want we can refresh the page. We just can check it. But if you change the visibility, it means that it's uh, it must be on your pro uh, like uh, uh, public account. OK, some someone is thinking. Sorry for that waiting. OK, it doesn't want to be refreshed. Oh, yeah, so you can see that Stripe Classroom collection has appeared over here. It's amazing. Also, you can see that this is my bio and uh, it's pretty easy to uh, change it anytime that you need it. OK, as I said, any kind of your collection can be um, can be edited and it's so easy. 
oh my god in 10 minutes who wants to see me samantha <laughs> um so let's go to um as i said there is a, an area for my collections all of them are here you can sort them but you can sort uh by three options then let's talk about bookmarks as i said it's every feature that you have saved to wakelet is uh, called bookmark a bookmark so you see everything i bought 169 so far and they are all organized into my collections yep if you go to the bookmark area you can always press add to collection and add it to another collection for example uh i've got some documents and oh, okay uh, bookmarks that i need to uh, be uh, added to another collection okay go to bookmark area and edit it so you do need to uh, to search for it again. There, of course, there is this filter. If you remember the name of this bookmark, just press it. Also, there is a variation how it's uh, just the view, yeah, of this kind of bookmarks. Uh, my favorite one is this one. So it's pretty neat, and I can see more bookmarks at the same time. So that's all about filters. Here, yep. <clears throat> so you can see. Also, you can use all or not in collection content content type sorry and date edit so you can use the filters it's pretty easy to use them uh, also i've got like group collections it's uh, the kind of collection which you have shared with the link and uh, you just work on it with someone it's like group collection that's how it's called like uh, that's why it's called like this so let's create a new collection it's pretty easy just to press on this beautiful cross Give your collection a title, it's pretty required. And okay, let's call it like this, Wakelet, Wakelet session. Okay, now Wakelet training session. Wakelet training session. You can add a cover image. Oh, we can, oh, we can choose from library because my computer is going to think a little bit. Uh, as a symbol of Wakelet is something like wave or robot. We can use this kind of robot. I like this one. Let it be like this. You can choose from the library or you can use the content from your computer. It's up to you. Also, we can add a background image. You can, again, upload an image of your own or choose from library that exists here. So, for example, it's going to be, uh, can it be like wave? Let's try to find, I'm not sure about, oh, yes. So let's have this because there is a great hashtag, Wakelet Wave. So uh, Wakelet training session. You can uh, edit it again and you can full cover image or we just can move forward. You can save it on this tab and exit. Or even if you, are, you, um, you didn't have much time to save it and you move to another kind of bookmark to another tab, okay, it, it will be saved. Anything, it's, if you want to press the discard, it will be saved till you press the save next button. Okay, anyway, we can uh, add some descriptions over here. For example, uh, we can add like uh, the dates uh, like this. And now let's fill it in with great and useful links. First of all, as I said, there is a great website uh, where you can learn more about Wakelet. You can find uh, the guide ebook in your, on your own language for on the first language, Arabic, Danish, French, or Greek, Hindi, uh, Hungarian, Russian, Spanish. You see, you can find this kind of guide to Wakelet educators ebook and just download it. Uh, so let, let we just save this link. We go to our beautiful collection. We press this cross and voila, we just just paste it and it is saved so uh, it's with the picture so it's pretty visual and it's great there is a description short description of this website that uh, goes with it you can edit it you can delete it you can change the text you see so I can change here like or there uh, you're welcome you're welcome um, at this kind of idea, you can create beautiful storytelling with your with your students or whatever you need it. Uh, you can reorder the collection. I'm going to show you. Uh, I just don't want to jump out uh, from this part. Also, let's go strictly to them. Um, the Educator's Guide to Wakelet in English. So we can save this kind of uh, link to, to our great collection 
and very beautiful one. Let's put it in. So it looks like this. Now we got two bookmarks and these bookmarks are going to be in your area, in your tab area, tab panel over here. OK, what else can we add? I can't stop using it. OK, <laughs> sorry, I'm just overexcited. Uh, Brandy Reams, Wakelet Tweet. Oh, no, it's for me. It's not for you right now. Um, OK. Guys, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Thank you, Elena. So, because it was like a pretty <laughs> silence. Okay, my computer is thinking. He is a, it, it is a great thinker today. Uh, sorry for this waiting part. Let's just... <clears throat> okay, I want... Okay, uh, there is a, a video on YouTube with the link uh, it was from the last webinar of Wakelet. It's number three. Yeah, you just can um, be sure and have a look at it. It was on YouTube. Uh, they uh, downloaded it on YouTube. So that's how we can just uh, save the link from this video. You see, yeah, the guys were talking about the new features, um, the new features that was coming about integration with Shirts Camera on Flipgrid. Um, and everything you can watch this webinar as well because it's pretty, pretty, pretty useful. One, one second. <clears throat> Let's move here. Okay, we don't need any more of this kind of YouTube, so we can close this tab to save some. Okay. Oh, please stop thinking so much. Just, just do it. Yeah. Okay, so we are coming to the next practi more practical part about collaboration. Um, yeah, but I just want to finish with this. Okay, restore. Yeah, we, we press the restore. And, and, and. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I hope it will stop thinking so hard. And, and, and. Yeah, so far we've got, like, it's going to be our third bookmark. <laughs> wow, it's so, uh-huh. So we can paste it over here. You see, I don't need to press anything else. When you have pasted, it, it's already into it. You see, webinar number three about Wakelet, beginner guide to Wakelet. Also, what you can do about the integration that I've mentioned before, uh, you can pass URL what we have done now. You can uh, edit more text. You can go strictly to YouTube from Wakelet. It's so easy. And for example, I want to find Wakelet, Wakelet uh, webinar, webinar 03. Yay! Oh no, where have you gone? Yeah, so we can use this one again, yeah, like this. We can edit it. You see, you can, we, you don't need to go to YouTube and open a new tab. You just go, you can get strictly for, you see, it's the same one. We can go to Twitter without going out of Wakelet. You can search uh, by like keyword or hashtag or, okay, let's go to Wakelet. And, whoa. With Mid Central. Okay. Wake up the grid. Yes. What else have we got here? Okay. User. Let's find Wake up this way. User. Oh. Okay. Let's edit it. Yay. So now you know how to find Wake on Twitter. Yay. It's amazing. You just go through it. Uh, also, what can we do here? Here, here, here. Yes. We can. If you don't like the order of your bookmarks in your collection, you just press this one and you just move them. Amazing, right? So you can you can go you can put it here. But actually, okay, I really love this kind of order. I don't want it to reorder it. Come on, we don't. You again, you can uh, work with uh, vis vis visible part like com compact view. It could be like. Mm, grid view, yeah, whatever. I think grid view is awesome. I like it the most. Okay, what do we need to do? What can we do now? We can uh, enable a copy. So it means that when you share with your collection, somebody can edit it, 
copy that and you can like send it to your colleague, friend, to your students and they can copy it and work out on it. They can uh, they can make it like more customized to their way. And also you can make this collection public, unlisted, private. If I make it unlisted, it means that if I share with the link, yep, it means that only you with the link will see it or I can make it public. OK, if it's unlisted, let's save and exit. And let's have a look how it looks like. Collection is saved. It's awesome. I can share with the, my collection uh, with QR code on Facebook, Twitter and etc. All the Google Classrooms, oh, even Microsoft Teams. I don't use it much, but I think it's awesome because many people use it. So I just want to copy the link and send you guys. So um, because you were such great listeners, uh, I think this collection will be useful for you too. I just paste it into our chat room. I hope you can see it. Uh huh. OK, I don't see it, but OK. So what else we can talk and discuss about contributors sharing copying? Yes, this copying part because uh, you you said it's OK. Also, you can add your embed your collection to your blog, to your website. You can customize this this way so you can, uh, for example, set fix high, choose theme. You can work out with these uh, kind of uh, amped code if you need it. So everything is for you. Choose your layout and in this area. So it's pretty great about customizing thing. Yeah, don't you think so? Also, what you can do, yeah, as I said, PDF expert, notify, we discuss it, analytics, change visibility, every time you can change it. If you don't want to make it public anymore or list it, uh, so you, you just uh, you just change it anytime you need it. Uh, about contributors and about collaboration, I think our guest Callum uh, is going. Uh, he will tell you about this more. Uh, manage contributors. You can invite contributors if you. Uh, these are my uh, the people who I'm following. Yes, and I can invite them anytime. You just can type a name, name or email by yourself or via shareable link or code. You can copy the link. Anyone with access to the shareable link or code can join it. Uh, manage contributors. It's me. It's mean that I can. Um, I, I, I'm the owner of this collection. If even if you invite your students, OK, I just move a little bit forward because Callum will tell you about this, I, I think. Uh, if you even share with your students and um, with the link, as I said, they don't need to have any kind of accounts here, but they well, you you may share with, uh, as I said, AMT code. Yeah, with AMT code, with uh, any kind of QR codes and with the link. Yeah, so Callum will, will show you how to make it. They can uh, they can add more. Um, bookmarks, they can edit their bookmarks. But if you don't like any kind of content that your students have added, you just delete it because you are the owner, you are the boss. So that's what you can do about the collections and about a sharing thing. Uh, OK, what else we can I can show you here? It's um, sorry, switch accounts. Yay, yay, yay. Home Explore. Uh, this is a page where you can find like top picks. Yep, uh, if you want to. Anywho, anyway, one more tip from me uh, where you can use Wakelet. Uh, you can use Wakelet um, when you're creating a kind of lessons. There is a great idea of a teacher, of educator. I want to show you Brandy Reams. By the way, I want to give you the link to her uh, profile. She's a kindergarten teacher. She created great collections of lessons to, for her uh, students, little ones. So she, she shares with these links or with the parents and the parents can see what kind of uh, topic they have. Uh, they have passed on the each kind of date uh, with their teacher. You see, you know, it's incredible. She's a great, great uh, teacher, uh, I may say. So uh, we go uh, we go to my um, <clears throat> collections area 
and as you see weight color training session i want to edit it and to show you that you can how you can edit it anytime you need it okay as i said i want to share with this amazing um teacher uh, with her ideas how she uses weight color uh, creating lessons also of course you can collaborate with your students to create an, uh, many different projects i've got a um, collaborative uh, collection about mi expert 2019 2020 sorry i as usually i forgot to introduce myself <laughs> yes i'm also weight color ambassador and uh, i'm a flipgrid uh, guide certified level three mi expert skype master teacher this year and i'm very proud of everything this kind of integrations and if you see uh, if you go to this amazing page you can see that microsoft partner it's about weight clip. It's great. And today I want to tell you that Callum, he is one um, of the weight clip team guys. Uh, he's going to share and tell you about some amazing things. First of all, I want to uh, to 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 stop demonstrate my screen and to share with uh, him the link to our session. Mm -hmm. So, uh huh. So am I still demonstrating it? Yay. Yay, I want to stop it. Okay, maybe at any part of now, you've got some questions. Sorry, I can't see you right now. So I just sent him the link, we're ready, that we are ready. Uh-huh. Claire, thank you so much for listening. I've just sent the link and we are going to wait a little bit for Callum. He's going to tell you more because he's uh, like, he's based on this kind of collaboration thing on Wakelet. And, and, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Anamika. Thanks, Sachin, thank you. Uh-huh. Wow, thanks. Uh, actually, we are waiting. Wow, somebody's showing some kind of Lenovo laptop. <laughs> Great. Okay, so I'm going to ask again our guest. Is he here? Are you here? Are you there? Mm -hmm. Joining now. Okay, he's joining now. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited and so glad that you can uh, talk to a real expert. And uh, thank you, Rashmi. Thank you so much. I don't have any questions. I need to start. Yes, practice makes perfect. Of course, Janet, you are so hardworking person. I may say, well, Flipgrid, you made like great results. Um, yeah, this, you know, it's so easy now, uh, but when you start, it's so great to get these ideas from te teachers, how to use, um, how to use Wakelet, um, exactly uh, dealing to the educational process. Um, you can, you can even get feedbacks from your students. For example, uh, was it okay for you today? Have you understood the subject, the topic well? So, and that's how they can uh, give you yes, or they can type it. Oh, hi there. Hi there, how are you doing? Hi, I'm so excited to see you. Thank you for coming. No problem. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Callum. It's okay, so where, where are you up to now? Have you just finished with the presentation? Uh, yeah, we have finished. We talked how to create a very first uh, collection and it's about weight color session, training session. I can show you how it looks like. And after that, I will stop demonstrating my screen. So, um, wait a minute. Yeah, I... <clears throat> yeah, I've added some useful links like from Mrs. Reams because she is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and also I want to show you, yeah, this is like wake up training session. It looks like this. Uh, I showed how to uh, how to paste the URL from the uh, from this part from just through the Wakelet and uh, you know the Wakelet ebook. I told about languages and uh, 
actually yeah so uh, now we are waiting for you to start talking about collaboration yeah how to collaborate the best tips from you because you are so a great expert <laughs> sure sure okay yeah so um i'll share my screen now and just talk you through collaboration so can you let me know when you screen you can see my screen please sure sure yeah yeah we can see it yeah i can see it, by the way <laughs> <laughs> there we go On my side. So, <laughs> so, so like uh, Anna talked you through actually building a profile, uh, building a collection, you can actually invite other people to collaborate on those collections with you. So as you can see here, I've already made a collection. I've got my own text in there, some images, a PDF, some tweets. Uh, but once I've finished creating a collection uh, and I click save, there's a few different options at the top. And the first option is contributors. So this allows you to actually invite other people, whether they have a wake. So up here, the, these are people that already have Wakelet accounts. So I can click invite, uh, so I can click invite on Jamil. Uh, and if he, if I click invite, he'll receive an email invite into his inbox. Uh, so if he goes to his email, clicks accept, he will join this collection and be able to add his own items in. Um, the other side of collaboration is also inviting people who don't have Wakelet accounts. So maybe you wanted to collaborate with uh, other teachers or students from your school. You can just copy this uh, link. And if you share this with maybe a student who doesn't have a Wakelet account, uh, so I'm just going to go into incognito here, so it's logged me out. But if I go to this link without an account, um, there will be a little pop-up for me to add my name. Mm -hmm. So I type my name Callum, click Add. And I now join this collection as a contributor. Great. So as I scroll down, you'll see I've joined in edit mode. Uh, once it loads, there'll be the ability to add items in. So I'll add an item in really quickly and show you how it looks. But yes, yeah, so if I click the plus button and I'll just add google.com. As you can see, it'll say added by you here. But if I click save and then go back to the collection as the owner, okay. it will then say added by Callum. So we've seen this used in many different ways, whether that's um, with class research projects, work submission, uh, entrance and exit tickets. In case you as the teacher maybe wanted some anonymous feedback from the students, they could just join this link and add their notes in there. Um, if the, the students were doing some work on um, say OneNote or something like that, yeah, they could actually notes. submit their work through a Wakelet collection. So they could just paste their link here uh, and all the students in that lesson will be able to teach others work and the teacher can keep everything in one place, if that makes sense. Um, so that's collaboration really, really quickly. Um, the way it works is if you join the collection as a collaborator, you can only edit and delete items that you add. Uh, so you can't delete uh, any other students or, or the, the teacher's work. So it's only you can only edit and delete your items. But the person who um, owns the collection can edit and delete anybody's item. So the teacher or the owner of the collection always has like the main uh, permissions. So they can yeah they can own the collection. Um, so, so that's cl uh, that's collaboration really really quickly. Um, would you also like me to go through the extension and the apps? Yeah, extension is so yep. great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so with the Wakelet extension, it's available on Chrome, uh, Firefox, and Safari. And as you can see here in the top right corner, I have the little Wakelet W here. So I've installed this on my Chrome, and it's, it's always going to appear here. But for example, if I wanted to save a link to Wakelet, but I didn't really want to copy and paste the link every single time, I could just click this Wakelet W. And I can save this straight into a collection or into my bookmarks if I wanted to. Awesome. Um, with, with the extension installed, there's also a few different uh, functionalities. So I'll talk you through that really quickly. But say, for example, on Twitter, um, I'm scrolling through and I see a tweet that I really like. Um, with the extension installed, as you can see, there's a little wake W there. So if, if I hit that W, The same sort of functionality happens where I can actually select the collection I want to add it to. So there's lots of cool tweets, infographics, just cool ideas that you see online. And yeah. if you scroll through, you might miss it. 
you can just literally click the W, save it, and then you won't have to try and refine it again because it's in Wake Club. Uh, the other, another functionality of uh, the extension is right click to save. So maybe someone sent you uh, a document or just a link in an email or something like that, and you want to save that really quickly to Wakelet, you can just right click and save to Wakelet. And in a similar way, you can select which collection you'd like to add it to. And then finally, with this is an optional feature, uh, we have a uh, Wakelet new tab. So if I click new tab now, Wakelet is sort of the default new browser. And as you can see down the right hand side, all of my open tabs have now appeared here. And I can actually create a collection of my open tabs, uh, just in case maybe you had 10 um, links open for a lesson, but you wanted to shut them and then open them again when it's the lesson, you could just click create a collection with new tabs. Or you can drag and drop them into a collection that you'd like. Or you can just use it as a shortcut. That's great. Um, and just uh, just an additional um, bit of information on the, the extension. If you wanted to turn this functionality off, if you didn't want Wakelet to be your default new tab, mm -hmm. you could just click, right click on here, head to options, and just toggle that off. Right. So it's like back to your default. Super. Extension, amazing feature. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Because such a mess in my panel, you just can't imagine what it was. So do you have any questions on, on that at all? Or? Well, extension, guys, do you have any questions? You can turn on your mics and just ask any questions to expert. <laughs> or we can go forward. OK, I think that's all about the extension. It's so great and easy to use. I, I think just more practice and. Yeah, yeah. And would you like me to go into sort of the story of Wakelet and how, how it became? Yeah, so please tell us how did you come up with the name of Wakelet? How did you come up with the idea? Because it's amazingly, it's easy, but at the same way, it's so practical. And I can, uh, I can add it to my any kind of lesson, actually, and uh, to any kind of area of my personal life because I use it everywhere. Like, yeah. You know, now it's the way call it. Okay, I need to save my checks, my um, my any kind of documents, even passport copies, and everything. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll start with how um, Jamil, the the founder of C uh, of Wakelet, the founder and CEO of Wakelet, how he came up with Wakelet to begin with. So throughout his life, so he used to work for the airplane manufacturer um, Airbus. And throughout his life, from being younger, when he was at university, when he went traveling, and in his career, there was the same problem kept coming up. So when he was revising for his exams, he would um, he would make a list, uh, a Word document with loads of links in the um, Word document, and then he would just have a, an ugly list of blue links, and he won't be able to see like a a preview of them, won't be able to add, annotate them, and it was just a little bit messy. And in the end of his um, dissertation, he had like four or five pages of just lists of links. And that was the same when he went traveling. So when he went to New Zealand traveling, he wanted to show people at home, his family, his friends, where he'd been, what he'd done. So he would have uh, a Word document with some pictures of the places he'd visited, some links to some of the uh, excursions he went on, where he was doing some work, some some of uh, the... Um, all them sorts of things. So then you'd have a Word document with loads of text, some. Um, images, some links, and it was quite uh, ugly and it started becoming uh, a hassle to edit it. And then finally, when he was working for Airbus, he used to collate loads of links uh, of press that Airbus would, would generate uh, and then share that with his employees, uh, with people that he worked with. And that problem came up again and again and again. And then he came up with the idea of Wakelet where if you wanted to sh uh, save and organize links to share with people, they would be visual, you'd be able to add annotations to them, you could collaborate, so it's not just a Word document where people can view it, people can collaborate and share their own links and all them sorts of things. So that the biggest thing is a list of links where it is a, a blue link to a visual uh, pre preview of the link, so you can actually see what it's about before you actually click on it. Wow, it's awesome. This like uh, history, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then and the, finally, the name Wakelet. So, um, so Jam really loves planes because he after after working for Airbus, 
And when a, uh, the, way, the name wakelet become, comes from the name wake. So from a plane, a plane or a boat creates a wake behind it, a trail. And we see that as creating a trail of content from the web and actually creating that into the collection. So that's where the name wakelet came from. Great, great. Thank you. Like, it's very interesting to know, like, uh, the, uh, the, this, the, this history, why, why did you uh, name this kind of a great platform to use for every kind of educator and just for every kind of person? Now I suggest to use it even to my mom <laughs> to <all> my parents, <laughs> because I tell them if you want to be more, that's easy for me when I feel myself more organized. I don't think about not necessary things to think about or even to create a great lessons to prepare my projects, even not dealing with strictly to my students. I've got lots of projects and uh, these areas are so huge i like over limited with these tabs with these bookmarks i just didn't know how to save them and it's a great way and also we're discussing like the best way for us educators to use wakely i told about this great uh woman she's a kindergarten uh tutor yeah and she's got like great ideas how to organize her lessons and share with the parents i think yeah. it's awesome and also um to make um this uh, I forgot that I have told I have mentioned this thing like um, about sharing. Okay, you can help me out. <laughs> I forgot this great idea more about for educators. You know how to use oh storytelling, of course, creating great stories, and also also projects with students. Uh, project based learning it's awesome, especially in like Wakelet. We're just preparing our updating Russian um, collection about Russia. I mean. And um, what's it's dealing to Skypathon, it will help us to update it because Skypathon is coming and it's a huge event. It, it's like amazing, lots of works, lots of work to do with different kind of projects, not only about Russia. So on Skypathon, every educator prepare like lots of kind of activities to share with the world. Um, also, can you advise some more ideas, like suggest any kind of how to use Wakelet in our professional area? Sure, sure. Um, so one of the um, big ways that people have been using Wakelet is for newsletters. Um, so Brandy Reams used that, the, the example you showed, used that a lot. But with the new Flipgrid integration that we've recently brought in, um, people have been adding, uh, the teachers been adding their own thoughts, ex explaining what's been going on for the week, maybe even recording the, the students doing some work so they can actually have some hands-on um, video footage of what's been going on to share with parents. Um, we also have a few um, integrations with Microsoft that people have been using. So Wakelet collections can be, added, be embedded into OneNote. They can be embedded into Sway. We have Share to Teams. Um, it's like we have, new one integrations, yeah? New one features with sorry? OneNote, you said, with Microsoft. Are they new one? New one's features, I mean, new one. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's relatively new. It's It's not that old. It was probably out in the last two or three months. But if you copy a link from Wakelet, a Wakelet collection into OneNote, it will embed. If you, you can embed a, a Wakelet collection to Sway. Uh, we have Immersive Reader. So if you wanted yeah. to share a collection with, if I wanted to share a, a collection in English to some of your students in Russia, they could just click the Immersive Reader button and translate it. Um, we have um, Share to Teams. So it maybe if you wanted to yeah, share a collection to Teams to all your students, you can do that really easily as well. Um, but we've seen lots of cool use cases with collaboration, collaboration across the world, collaboration with your students. So whether you're doing a research project on, I don't know, climate change, you could create a collection and get all of your students to do their own research and submit it into that collection. So that's a really big use we've been seeing recently. Um, and we've got lots on the way as well. Awesome. You know, this integration parts are the best, like, because we all Microsoft educators and we love um, all Microsoft features. And then you integrate it like Flipgrid, Wakelet, Microsoft. It's like the full cocktail of, wow. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> super, super. I'm super excited and maybe overexcited, by the way, because <laughs> I definitely love what you're doing. Thank you so much for your precious time that you shared with us with this great information on these features, the collaboration, because when we collaborate, we become stronger as educators and our students are become more engaged into the learning process. And that's how we can collaborate and like exchange with ideas. And thanks again a lot, Colin. No problem. Anna? Yep. Uh, I have a question for the sure. expert. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, hi. Hi. Uh, I'm from Tunisia, by the way. 
so I use uh, Wacklet, but uh, I um, I try to use it in my smartphone, but I uh, can't, uh, I can't find the coordinator in the application. The collaboration so, I can't do with the, the app in the smartphone, and okay. uh, also the flip grid I can't uh, find the the way to use it. Okay, so at the moment, so are you on Android? Yeah. Yeah. So at the moment, um, we don't have Flipgrid on either of the apps yet. It's only on desktop, and with collaboration, that is coming to uh, the Android app very soon. So it's available on uh, the iOS app, but it's not available on Android at the moment. So yeah, that that is on its way. So okay, no, thank you. Oh, thank you for the great question, by the way. So now we are like know better about the future that it's coming, so we can share with this information too. Uh, yeah, have you got any more questions, guys? Uh, thank you, thanks a lot. No problem. And if anybody wants to reach me for any questions after this webinar, feel free to reach me on my email, uh, callum at wakelet.com, so C-A-L-L-U-M at wakelet.com, or you can just follow me on Twitter at C-N-I-G-H-T 97 on Twitter, so you can always reach me there as well. Yeah, on the presentation, there were like uh, the links to your profiles on um, on uh, Twitter and also contact support email. So yeah. it was on the slide, so I can share with us again uh, too with uh, these great people. Thank you so much, Callum. Thank you. No so problem. Much always a pleasure. <laughs> and Thanks a lot. No Thanks problem. And always feel free to ask me at any time. I'm always happy oh, to join. Thank you. Thank you for your support. That's how we love Wakelet more and more. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed and our guest um, that was really great guy. We were in touch uh, like during the translation part of their, um, uh, when I translated, I was translated their ebook guide to educators. It's really amazing. If you have really, if you have any questions, oh, great. <laughs> we would love to learn to more and more. Okay. You know, our students must be engaged. Why are we so overexcited and we are so, I don't know, engaged into the learning process? We need to, you know, to to make our students more excited about all of these features. So uh, just uh, try to tell them how to make projects on Wakelet because it's so easy and they are so lazy and uh, they just uh, don't know how to start making projects. Maybe your students are very like um, <clears throat> uh, very energized and excited about the making a good projects idea, but my students are so lazy these days, especially when the school has started. And I just like cuckoo, you know, are you there? Are you ready? Do you want to start? We need to update our project. Our Russian, uh, our collection about Russia are still empty. Still, sorry, still empty because they don't want to. I just can't share with you because it's empty. <laughs> Honestly, when uh, I suggest you to collaborate about uh, this kind of collection so we can make a better collection, so we are as teachers, we can start updating it. And then our students just, just, just can pick up some ideas. Anyway, if you have questions, I can show you how to, if you have five more minutes, if you have, uh, I can show you about uh, how to find a great thing. Um, um, yeah, so you can see that when you when you want to add something, you can see that there's free Flipgrid video. It's not about the whole Flipgrid platform. It's only about short camera. So if you press it, you can uh, make your uh, collection a face, a talking face, yeah, like uh, to in, to present something, to introduce your collection to your students. The same way how you can work on Flipgrid. But I may say that. Um, in spite of the fact that my computer is so slow, <laughs> uh, actually Wakelet works uh, really fa much more faster than, um, like faster, sorry, to, to many uh, comparative forms. Uh, faster than Flipgrid or etc. It doesn't matter what kinds of uh, internet speed is right now um, at your place. Works really nice. Oh, sorry, I need, of course you can, you must, uh, like sign up, sign in, log in, cover, get to Flipgrid, and then 
if you want to create a short scanner video because this camera with great options and features on Flipgrid, you can choose any filters, FLG, sand, etc. You need to um, like log in into the Flipgrid and then the next step will be just to record a video. Your students can do the same way. So if you don't want your students to go to Flipgrid first and you work on projects, or you have got learned project uh, based learning project thing, you just use this Wakelet integration thing with Flipgrid because in my opinion, it's, it's easy even if you work on the global project. Because in Flipgrid then you need to share with the, uh, certain link to your, um, I hope nobody is here <laughs> but anyway, it's a joke, and you just can uh, make this learning process easier to use Flipgrid Shorts Camera here on Wakelet and to share with your students. I, it's my personal opinion. Anyway, um, we have only started to use Wakelet with my students because they are, were overfilled my the information about Flipgrid. You know, for our students here, Russia, it's like not so easy uh, to use this kind of programs. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for listening and uh, maybe you've got some questions or you can turn on your mics and just to add a few words what you think about Wakelet. And don't forget there is a very useful link that I've shared uh, to you from this, uh, uh, from this collection, Wakelet Wakelet training session. So if you want to add some more or just to share with your opinion about using Wakelet, you may just tell me. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Muchas gracias. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Alana. Thank you for recording the session. Okay, if you don't have any questions, I want to say thank you for coming. And I wish uh, you have a great day. And uh, yeah, use Wake Up because it's really nice, not only for educational project thing, but uh, just creating the lesson to collecting your links because now I may say that it's much more easier for me to be organized with this huge amount of links okay so thank you so much and anytime any questions I'll be really grateful and uh, if you give me a feedback or something or just if you share with your opinion thanks a lot and I uh, wish you have a great day see you